As for the previous announcement, mankind has taken its first step into the vast ocean known as space, expanding our knowledge of the world surrounded in this More than anything, our encounters with the new continents have been a great boon to our species and represents a symbol of hope to for our future. Even so, from this day forth, we must acknowledge that we are members of a pan-galactic humanity, all of whom must share in our universe destiny. I ask you, how are we to proceed in any world? On any planet, there exists an order that must be protected. The collapse of that order means the collapse of that planet. If we have been entrusted with even a small part of our universe's fate, the answer is simple. We must learn the order of the galaxy and protect it. In order to join hands with our new comrades across the universe, and usher a bright future. We are duty bound to engrave a single promise upon our hearts. At the consensus of Earth, and as members of this great galaxy, we now present a guide to protecting peace in the universe, the underdeveloped planet preservation pact. May the establishments of this pact mark the first step towards a bright and prosperous future. And I would like you to know, there was a group of nameless heroes who would trust us with this institution. Yes, heroes who paved our way into space with great difficulty, who never once backed down from adversity to the very end. I thought I might tell you what's going to happen next. Recent events have served to purge the Ildarians' ill feelings, and now we enjoy friendship with Ian too. We intend to foster fine relationships compensating each other for areas in which we lack. And of course, we intend to support the Eldarians' immigration efforts completely. Currently, the best option for their immigration appears to be Limerus. Earthlings... Eldarians, Morphus, people of Lemurus and Roke. Indeed, all the intelligent life forms we are sure to encounter, I am certain we'll be able to join hands with them. As we will continue to explore undeveloped planets, your experiences will be invaluable, in the hopes of building a better future for all of us. I would like to formally request your cooperation. And might I ask why not? <sighs> I do understand your point of view, Mr. Maverick. However, we are nothing like the Rigori. If we are to guide these people towards a proper evolution, our universe will become more hospitable. Wouldn't that be the best future for all concerned? Mr. Maverick. <sighs> I suppose it would be somewhat plural for me to continue to persist here. Very well. We will no longer seek technological assistance from the Eldarians or EN2. We shall have to obfuscate the existence of the missing procedure and convincing the powers that will be certainly not be easy. It's going to get busy around here. Don't expect to get a whole lot of rest. Space Date 12 the story of the heroes that saved the universe, a story known only to a few, has reached its conclusion. Meanwhile, they too were about to set up upon their own new journey. Edge Maverick, of the Transportation Agency. I appoint you to the position of Interplanetary Transport Captain. Furthermore, Remy Sayanji, I appoint you to the position of Interplanetary Transport First Officer. <laughs> I'm sure it isn't easy, but the formalities are important, you know. Just bear it a little longer. There's someone I'd like to introduce you to. He's the man who designed the new ship you'll be flying. Come on in. 
This is Professor Trillis Barkton. He is the man who managed the employment of the Eldarian warp technology we received. A living legend of the Terran Alliance.